I realize that. Yes. I don't care. Look, that may be how my father did business, but we don't operate like that anymore. I'll get back to you. Rough morning? Not really. <laughs> Liar. It's your life now, Ledge, not your father's. It's hard to believe he's really dead. It was bad enough seeing him go to prison, but now... Don't think about it, Ledge. Don't think about anything right now. My God! Lana Lee! Lana Lee, you're... Alive. Jump, jump, jump. Very much so, brother dearest. But this is incredible. We thought... You thought you'd left me for dead after you pushed me into the Amazon River. Pushed you? What... Save it, Ledge. I know exactly what happened. Lana, that's absurd. We've been worried sick ever since you... Well, if it isn't the inimitable Ariella Mason. It's Ariella Whitfield now. We're married. Didn't waste any time, did you? It's been two years, Lana Lee. I mean, life goes on... For some of us. You can't seriously believe that I pushed you out of that boat. Of course he didn't. We've hoped and prayed. Ledge spent months searching for you. You know, Ariella, you never used to have the time of day for me. I'd appreciate it if you'd extend me the same courtesy now that I'm back from the dead. Lana, that's really uncalled for. I'll get to the point, Ledge. I'm here to take back what's mine. Well, of course, Lana. Whatever you... The company, Ledge. Spencer Whitfield was my father, too. I'm just as entitled as you, and I'm taking the company. How are your typing skills, Mrs. Whitfield? I just might be in the market for a good secretary. I'll be in touch. You sure you haven't been in here before? You look pretty familiar. Positive. New to Bayshore Valley? It's been a long time. Things have changed. They're about to change dramatically. What happened? I told him, Dr. Sanchez. He tried to deny what he did to me, but I... Calm down, dear. That's enough for today. There's got to be a way to nail him to the wall. What about those oil leases uh, you, you mentioned in the Gulf? Of course. What would I do without you, Doctor? Where are we? What do you mean, where are we? We're in Sunnydale. We used to live here, remember? Of course I remember. But what happened to this place? Didn't there used to be a row of old houses over there? <laughs> now look what's in their place. Heesh. What is that thing? A school? A hospital? A prison, maybe? The sign says it's the new city hall. Oh, fabulous. Our tax dollars at work. Oh, crap, I missed my turn. Where do you make a left turn around here? Say, where is this new mall we're trying to find anyway? Well, it should be straight ahead. Remember that abandoned golf course we used to take walks through? Oh, no. Not our abandoned golf course. How dare they desecrate that hallowed ground with some despicable mall. We shouldn't even be going there. We should be boycotting it. Well, I was just curious to see if it was all it was cracked up to be. Besides, we need new curtain rods. But we could get new curtain rods anywhere. Crap! What? What's going on? Well, we're here already, and I missed the entrance. Hold your horses! I'm trying to drive here! We should just go home. No way. We drove all the way out here, and we are going to shop here. Are you sure we're there? I don't see any mall. All I see are parked cars. Well, the sign said this is it. I guess we're just going to have to grab the first parking space we see and walk a million miles up to the mall. Oh, darn. Somebody stole that spot. Oh, there's a spot. Oh, it says reserved. Reserved for who? Hillary Clinton? Jeez. Maybe you better let me drive. You're getting a little flustered. No way. I'm going to find a parking space if it's the last thing I do. And then after today, I am never going to drive again. Ah! Get out of the way, you old hag. They ought to get
get rid of those pesky pedestrians. Is that a spot up ahead, or is it just a mirage? What's going on? Why do we stop? The hell with this. We're going home. But what about the curtain rods? We can buy curtain rods anywhere. So, we came all the way out to see the new mall, and we didn't even get out of the car? That's right. You got a problem with that? No, but... I feel it was the perfect way for us to express our disdain over suburban mall culture. I agree, but nobody else would view it that way. They'll think we just had an anxiety attack and fled in a panic. You're right. Perhaps we should have brought our camcorder and recorded the moment so we could show it as proof. Perhaps. Can you capture triumphant disdain on a camcorder? Okay, I'm bored. Nope. Uh -uh. Yeah! Are we? What are you trying to get to the beauty salon before they close? That is one freaking weird hairdo, pal. I hope they can help you. Are you gonna give me a ticket? Are we gonna talk about fashion here, pal? Can I make one thing clear to you, officer? What's that? You are really ugly, man. <laughs> okay, pal. That crack is gonna cost you plenty. Let's have your driver's license. Oh, I don't have one. You don't have one? No, I don't have one. I'm a flower. Are you stupid, brother? Look at me. I'm a flower, you bonehead. Yeah, he's just a flower. Leave him alone. Hey, all of you. Can it. I don't care if you are a stinking flower. I'm writing you up. Oh, you're not so tough without that, are you? Hey, I need that. Yeah, just as I thought. You guys are nothing without your pen. Just a badge and a mustache. You know something, though? What? You really are ugly. Thank <laughs> you.
Talk with Raisin Show in Pulling a Malad Out of the Hat, starring Raisin. She's hot, baby, real hot, just the way she likes it. <laughs> and her brother, Malcolm, the malcontent. Yeah, right. Also starring Raisin's orphan dog, Hamilton. For Hamilton's next trick, he will pull a malad out of his hat. Yeah, right. Watch him pull out Squad. Why don't you pull out your parents? If you're so magical. Mommy! Mommy! Where's my mommy? He, he, he. All I want is to be loved. Is that so wrong? Man, you have a bad attitude. Now, don't you feel like doing good things? Yeah, right. Why don't you give it up, man? You're no magician. Why don't you make yourself disappear? Now that would be a magic trick. <laughs> You're gonna give Hamilton low self-esteem if you continue to... Abuse him! Shut your face! Or there's gonna be a little... violence. I killed a guy for looking at me the way you are now. Your dog's a loser, big sister. I bet his pop took one look at him and said, You dog, you. You dirty little dog, you. You ain't no son of mine. Yeah? And you're a loser for hanging out with him. I bet your producers take your show from you. Hello? What are you looking at? They took my show from me! <laughs> <laughs> Sucker! Huh? I'm on in five minutes. I would like to take a moment to show why my brother Malcolm should be in therapy. This is a home movie of Malcolm as a baby. The man tossing Malcolm in the air is our grandfather, Trojan John. <laughs> he always liked it rough, and that's how he treated us. Nice and rough. Isn't that awful? Malcolm! Were you giving away food coupons in school? No, Mom. I was selling them. 80 cents to the buck. No, Mommy, please! Ah! Mommy, please! Ah! No, no! <laughs> Mommy, good! Please, please! No! Ah! Please! Okay, Hamilton, pull them a lot out of your hat. You can do it. For his next trick, Hamilton will now pull our school teacher. Ms. Malad, out of the hat! Do your homework! <laughs> Did it hurt? Nah, I always carry protection. Psst. Next time, try not to be so selfish. I can't dance, baby. But I sure can act. <laughs> well, it's showtime. Okay, Scotty. 
beam me up. Time to go to school. Dwine, wake up, honey. <laughs> Bad dreams, nightmares. I can't sleep, Bobby Joe. Yeah! <laughs> Dwine, wake up. You're gonna scare the whole trailer court. It seems so real. It's just a dream, babe. Next time, just tell yourself it ain't real. I feel like I didn't sleep at all. Honey, will you call in sick for me? Dwayne, you don't have a job. Oh, yeah. Why don't you try Grandma's Cure? Warm buttermilk. Eww! And tequila. Huh. It's a chicken. It's a rooster. Chicken. Rooster. What do you want to do with it? Barbecue! Barbecue! What do we need? Firewood and bricks. Lots of bricks. Isn't that better? <laughs> Sorry, honey, I forgot to tell you. That just means it's working. Now you're going to have the sweetest dreams. Hi, oh, sweet. Sweet as a Georgia peach. That's my mom. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Dwayne? Why don't you try Grandma's cure? Are you gonna leave the head on? <coughs> cool. Could you describe it? Describe it? It's a trailer! want to alarm you, honey, but it was aliens that took him. I seen it. <laughs> it was that barmaid with the pickup truck. They hitched up and took off for Nevada. Oh. <laughs> Honey, baby, darling, it's not what you think. You lying, cheating bastard! Wait a minute. That cheap slut's been dead and buried for years. Dwayne, a digger up and poke her anyway. <laughs> Where is it? In the graveyard. What'd I tell you? 
Where's my gun? Oh, honey, I just had the most awful dream. <laughs> hmm. Dwayne. Hmm. Yes, baby. You lying, huh? cheating, pathetic, perverted, necrophiliac! Honey, baby, it's not what you think. I'm having a bad dream, a nightmare. Dwayne, I'm your worst nightmare. Get your hands off of that dead slut or I'll shoot your dang booty off. But, honey, I thought it was you. Yep. yep. They're back together again. Yep. Lord have mercy.